Hey folks, E.T. here coming at you with our next video in our new crash course, which will be the charts page. Simply put, come here, click on our button, click charts, charts page. You're going to spend a lot of time here. Your search bar will change your charts for you. It's very, it's very, very easy. You just type in, hit enter, brings it up. There are a bunch of things we can do on the charts. Very simple. Some are very self-explanatory. Your time frames are going to be important. Sometimes the higher the time frame, I'll tell you, will we'll change how you see support resistance levels and things like that. When you get a higher time frame, you start to see larger gaps. When you shrink down into smaller time frames, you start to see a little bit smaller gaps in the area a lot of times, and you get to see a closer look at price where things are on a smaller time frame. So if you're looking to add something, looking to do something, and you want to see, and you want to see what's close to where you are right now instead of a massive gap on, on a shorter time frame for some daily scalps, you'll want to shrink that time frame down a little bit. All right plain and simple there you can also switch between all of the different charts all right i am a candlestick guy so that is where i'm going to stick for now very simple right here you can see the apple net flow all right and that's just on one of our indicators right it's it's algo flow right here plain and simple you can choose which day you want to see very very easy one day is obviously the day you're on further out is going to give you is going to give you larger things there indicators we'll keep going as we go there so we've seen algo flow dealer delta and customer sentiment now this is important these are just inverse of each other when you're looking at the colors okay so a dealer delta that is positive for apple is gen generally means generally means that is that is a downturn okay as you can see here we've been having a nice downside big positive things all right and then customer sentiment is just opposite of that red bars mean that it is it is negative okay so this is intuitive customer sentiment is you don't actually have to con concern yourself with uh, inverse colors all right so red means bearish green means bullish that's why i look at customer sentiment a lot i will say and as as we get to our options page video a little bit later on we talk about back testing make sure you do the back test to see if the back test is inverse because sometimes on some tickers i think like coin customer sentiment is actually inverse of what the back test shows okay so what you don't what you don't want to do is uh just blindly buy something without checking that back test and we'll have an options video for the options page that comes out as well so you'll be able to see how that back test works and how those things go so for now we've we've covered that we've covered those two indicators now it's pretty simple customer calls tells you how many what calls look like and then customer puts tells you what that looks like you can also all right Put market net flow on the ticker. I wouldn't suggest doing that for an individual ticker, right? I like watching it for SPY, and we can talk about that here in a second. But when we're looking at market net flow, you really want to look at the individual algo flow for the ticker you're on, unless you are on SPY. And we're going to go ahead and go back to SPY real quick and then take a look. And I'll show you what I mean here. So what you're looking for here is pretty simple. It's divergences. When it's flat like this, you'll start to see chop as we go along. You saw at the very end of the day, we saw it go up. Still not a divergence. That's just price following flow like it should be. But what you're really looking for on this page is a large divergence where price is diverging away from this line. So let's say price continues to go up, 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 up. And you see net flow. All right, because we've chosen net flow. You see net flow continually this blue line going down, 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 down as price goes up. That's a, a divergence. So at that point, you're going to want to look at your levels and see if it's approaching one for a short. All right. Inverse for longs. If price is going down, but net flow keeps going up, look for a level somewhere. Look for a level somewhere that you could buy the dip at. All right. And we'll cover some of those things where you would do those things, dark pools, gamma, all of that. And in, in multiple series as we go along here and all of these new crash course videos that we're putting out. So that's very simple for net flow there. One thing I want to point out when it comes to algo flow, you do not want to have the spy algo flow up. Okay. Algo flow for indices, since they are vehicles for hedging, can be very, very, very misleading, plain and simple, all right? So what you do not want to do is you do not want to put that algo flow up for, for indices. So SPY, QQQ, IWM, things like that. Algo flow is meant for individual tickers. So use algo flow for individual tickers. Use your market net flow for your indices, all right? So moving along from that, we've seen, we've seen all these things. 
your, your zero day flow is just going to show you. You're not going to see any right now. Obviously, your zero day flow is going to show you what gamma pulls are happening. We're going to we're going to view that more on our options overall or on our, on our options market dashboard more often so we can see the zero day and uh, net flow on that page as well. This is just a quick look on things. The main the main thing I use this page for is to see that divergence that I talked about a few minutes ago, plain and simple. So we've seen all those. All right, next thing we're going to do, support and resistance. We know how that works. We just hit it. We'll go ahead and hit it again. Another important one are your GEX levels. You can also put your zero-day GEX right there, your largest sweeps, your dark pools, your weekly and your monthly, all of those things. Right now, I will add that as you add things to the chart, it does scrunch down a little bit. So sometimes I like to just do one or two things at a time. Important that I like to know is is where are the gamma levels? All right. So I, I, I look for the gamma levels and I look for support and resistance levels that sort of match as they go around there. So it's one of those important things that I'm always sort of looking at, right? As you can see, it got scrunched there a little bit, but real plain and simple, real plain and simple. You can see that we have, we have positive green is positive, right? Is a repel price. Red is negative. All right. It attracts price. So we sort of we sort of see these support these support levels all the way down here. We see a positive bounce level here, and then we see some pulls up top, right? It's a little bit easier to see uh, and, and get a look at when you're when you're looking for day trades. Okay, on the options page, and we'll cover that as well. Moving into our last quick portions here, this just gives you your seasonality. The further out, right, you can scroll over and see the better it is during that season. Then plain and simple, it's going to show you the algo flow for whatever for whatever ticker you're on. Remember, do not do not pay attention to the spy algo flow. It's going to show you customer positioning whether whether it's bullish, bullish or bearish. Green is bullish, red is bearish. Pretty simple, and it's going to give you a quick look at the gamma exposure where the largest pushes and pulls are on on that particular ticker. All right, and then you just get to see the top flow real quick. Very simple. So that is the charts page. Very cut and dry. Very simple. You can do a lot of things here. And you can get a lot of information very quickly. My favorite things are obviously looking at the gamma levels, the support resistance, and then looking at net flow when I'm looking at the indices, obviously, to see divergences. Everybody have a good day and stay safe out there.